from Williams Arena in Minneapolis. It's the second quarterfinal round game in Class 4A. The fifth seed, the Lakeville North Panthers, take out the fourth seed, the Maple Grove Crimson. John Jacobson and Patty Sorensen with you on CCX Sports. Happy to bring you state girls basketball coverage for 2024. The winner of today's game will take on Hopkins in the section in the state semifinals on Thursday night. Hopkins taking care of business in their game against White Bear Lake. Patty, before we look more deep into this game, let's go back to last week. The section that's the final championship game. And we did up by the Noka High School, Maple Grove, and Mounds View, and a really strong effort all around for Maple Grove to get the win, defense, offense. Shot the ball exceptionally well, especially in the second half after a close game very early, but uh, they pulled away by halftime and, and put it away in the second half. They're, they're a very strong, again, again, defense team. They've really come along. Their defense has improved a lot. Offensively, they can spread the floor. They can attack the bucket. They got shooters that can hit from everywhere outside. They like to play quick, but they can be very poised and controlled also. And there's a look at the 4A bracket. As I mentioned, the winner here takes on Hopkins in the first semifinal here on Thursday at Williams. And then the afternoon games yet still to come. Andover against number two seed Minnetonka and then Rosemont STMA in that last game. You could have three potentially late conference teams in the final four here in uh, Class 4A. But this 4-5 game, usually, as you would expect, should be pretty good. I think we've got a really good matchup here between the Panthers and the Crimson. Oh, I definitely think we do. Maple Grove has had a strong history. And then you look over at uh, Andy and his team, and Andy's been in coaching for a lot of years now and has been here many times. Uh, both very talented teams. So I think we're going to see a, a, a good matchup. Let's look at our key players, starting with Lakeville North. Trinity Wilson, a veteran of this uh, program. She is a senior and been in this team, in this program for four years. 1,000 points, 1,000 rebounds. That's not easy to do, and she'll play next year at Vanderbilt. You know, that's exciting to have a player of that ability on there to lead you. And, you know, 1,000 points, we see a lot of that, but a 1,000 points plus rebounder, that's amazing. Good job, and it's going to be fun to watch her. And for Maple Grove, Claire Stern has a strong season coming off a good section final. Last week, 20 points, playing North Dakota State next year, averaging 14 and a half points and almost seven rebounds a game. And she's another one of those exciting players and, and another player that she just works. I mean, she, she can get in there on the boards for you. She can shoot, and, and like I said, a lot of that team in and out, but exciting player to watch, and I think she did a great job the other night in the finals and looks to carry that over today. Lakeville North certainly has the size on Maple Grove. That's that's their advantage for Maple Grove. What's what's their edge in this game? Well, you know, I, I think that's it. Like, how are they going to answer? How's Maple Grove going to answer if they're going to get inside? And, and for Lakeville North, using their posts and, and seeing how it'll challenge Maple Grove. Should be a good one here. The 4-5 game, Maple Grove and Lakeville North. Winner goes to the semifinals. We'll tip it off here from Williams Arena after this. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Ready to tip off game two of the tournaments in class 4A, Lakeville North and Maple Grove. John Jacobson, Patty Sorensen. And I'm really looking forward to this one at Patty at, uh, at Williams Arena. It should be a terrific quarterfinal round game. You know, I think it will be. You know, we talk about some size differences, but you know, Maple Grove's seen that. They both have seen kind of similar teams they're going to play against. I think we're going to see a great matchup. Look at the starters for today's game. It's Bo Wingy Benton. Ojulu and Wilson for Lakeville North. Holmquist, Stern, Cassette, Odie, and Bella Hanna for Maple Grove. Tip one by Wilson, and we are underway with the noon game here at Williams Arena. First possession for the Panthers. 
And knock away by Stern and a turnover forced by Maple Grove on the first possession of the game. Stern will go baseline, try to get it back out for Bellahanna, and it's turned over. Julu forcing the turnover for Lakeville North. Gets it back into the hands of Benton. Benton will drive to the basket. Scoop shot off the glass in the first points of the game. Gabby Benton, who's a thousand point scorer in her own right. Terrific passer as well and gets Lakeville North on the board early. Stern baseline, back out. Odie, cassette. And got fouled and will go to the line for two. Miles under Julu, her first. And Ava can set. That's a big three pointers. And section final with 16 points in all. And one more coming for the senior. Andy Burkford, boy, he's been here a long time. He had a lot of success. And look at the career wins for him 541 through he's the been, years. Yeah, and, and he was there. Uh, when Lakeville was Lakeville before they were north and south too, so he's he's had a great career there. Cassette 0 for 2 from the free throw line, rebound by White Bear Lake. Elena Bowl lobbing it in. Wilson gets inside position, lays in two. Great touch around the basketball, around the basket rather for the senior, and it's 4 0 Panthers. And that's what's going to be interesting to see how count what Maple Grove is going to do to slow her down and not let her get easy points. Cassette trying to go into Bellahan that got kicked by Bowl. Good entry pass here by Bow. Wilson gets inside of Hannah an easy two for her. He had Odie coming across to try and help and, and maybe disrupt that but strong move. Strong move by Odie. Shoot the college side line to three there beyond it and knocks it down. Gets Maple Grove on the board. She that talked about wanting to play on this court because she'll get to come play here with a member of Michigan State in the future. Yeah, she will. And, and I think it's going to be crucial, too, that she gets that start because they all kind of thrive off her. They're all very talented, but I think her energy and what she can produce kind of helps Maple Grove get going. Benton picked up her dribble, gets the pass back out to Wingy. Shot clock down to five. Petten in some trouble. Puts it off for Wingy. Puts it on the court and won't get it off. The defense shot clock violation on the Panthers. Yeah, you know, and, and they're going to have to see. You're going to have to challenge Jordan, Odie, Jordan. If you leave her open, she's going to make you pay. She's just got a beautiful touch. And then if you try to get on her on the three, she's going to take you to the hoop too. So. Maple Grove looking for its first lead of the game. Bellahanna puts it on the deck, trying to go against Wilson. A little soft shot up and in. Nice job by the junior. And Maple Grove has the last five. Julu handing off to Wingy. Bow and back out. And Julu. Skip pass across. Bow down to the baseline to Wilson. Three point try is too strong, way too long for Wingy. <laughs> Odie back for the Crimson. Crossover dribble and pass gets deflected, and we get a foul on Stern. Those are the hard ones to take because you're both moving for the ball and. You know, it was a foul, but it, those are the tough ones. Everybody's going for it. Yeah, and doing enough body contact certainly yep. on the Julu to make the call pretty sure easy for the referee. I think she thought she had her, and when Ojulu made that change of direction, she just kind of fell over her legs. That the entry pass. Wilson goes underneath, and a shot up and in. Good look from Wilson. Able to spot Bo cutting down to the baseline, and Elena Bo gets the hoop for her first basket today. Hannah, back out. 
Here's Cassette for three. Too strong in the rebound. Ojulu had the inside position. Now, while Maple Grove or any team capable of making some of those three-point shots, I, I, you know, I've talked to coaches about this before. You're always a little bit caught by the college line or a target center, the NBA three-point line. You don't need to go out that far with your three-point tries. You're right. They, and I think it takes them a little bit out here just to realize, oh, that's right, there's another line. Yeah. I don't have to shoot from out here. You know, like we said in, in the other game, though, you see a lot of kids that sometimes in high school now are shooting it way well, out that's true. And this time it's Bo to Wilson. Trinity Wilson, another hoop down low. Lakeville North up by three at 8-5. Odie will drive. Comes back out with the pass to Hannah. Except her dribble gives it to Cassette. And now to Odie. Another three for Jordan off the mark. And Julo gets tied up by Stern. Held ball with the Maple Grove possession. That was a great job of Stern to get in there and be able to tie that one up. Sierra McCutton, number 22, and Bella DeHaan, number 40, in for Lakeville North for substitutes today. Inbound to Stern and into Holmquist. Cassette. Free throw line, a little strong. Stern rebounds and got fouled. And I'm sure that's one of the points of emphasis Mark had with his team, too, is that, you know, you know how the other team can rebound. You've got to get in there, and we've got to battle on the boards and try and win that. Addy Hanna, number one. Lexi Hanna, number 24, in for Maple Grove. Pass comes in to Lexi Hanna. Driving on Wilson. And then back out with the pass to Odie. Odie puts it on the deck, kicks it out to the corner. Three ball is up and in. That's Annie Hanna. Right off the bench and into the scorebook. It's 8-8. And that's where Jordan becomes very dangerous because they think she's going to penetrate, so they, they're trying to defend her there, and she kicks it to an open teammate. Good Odie passer. with the block on the shot by Benton. Maple Grove quickly back to the offensive end. Stern open look for two. Lexi Hanna scores. And Maple Grove back in front for the second time. Good start for both of these teams in the first five and a half minutes of the game. Double team come across with Lexi Hanna, but they couldn't force a turnover. Benton for three. Lakeville North by one. Cassette, great look underneath, off the glass, Abby Hanna for two. That's just communicating, seeing your players, getting your eyes up right away, and as she's attacking, she's got her sitting down for a nice little two. Well, in the bigger court, we talked about this in the Hopkins game, you, your spacing's a little bit different, you get a chance perhaps for more of those plays like that. I agree, I agree, and, and these kids are starting to see it, and they're taking advantage of that. Shot clock down to seven. Ball in the hands of Benton. Benton tried to throw up a shot. Got it down to Wilson. That's going to be, uh, well, Odie got the rebound. Apparently they got the shot off, but Obi rebounds the miss. To pull up a runner up and in for the senior. 14-11, Crimson. Betton off to DeHaan. And then popping out for the pass is McCudden. Wilson, great skip pass across, baseline. DeHaan lost it. Stern able to defend her well. And we'll look at the last basket for Jordan Odey. You know, you watch Jordan, and she can do so many things. We've talked about that many times. You know, we see her tack all the way out. We see her hit the three. We see her pass. But she has that nice, soft touch of that little pull-up. Get her in the paint, and she can pull up and, sh and finish that way also. 
and knew rather than attacking on the 6-4 Wilson, hey, pull up four feet in front of her and, and exactly. hit the jumper. Mm -hmm. Odie off into the hands of Lexi, excuse me, Andy Hanna. To Odie, back out. Andy Hanna, too strong on three ball and rebounded by McCudden. Kendra Overski into the lineup for Maple Grove as well at that last whistle. Ball thrown out of bounds by Lakeville North. That was a great defensive effort getting there and getting the deflection and coming into the post because she's a tough post to defend against. Sahara Wilson, the younger sister of Trinity, six foot three inch eighth grader. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen talent some. in that family. The <laughs> mom played at UConn. Trinity going to Vanderbilt next year. And a steal here for Patton. Pause the turnover. Floater off the glass up and in. Nice shot by the senior Betton. One of the 2,000 point scorers that Lakeville has. You can see why. <laughs> Pass by Lexi Hanna goes past Odie on the turnover for Maple Grove. We got Patton on that last possession. Did good, a nice job of not creating contact and even opening up the possibility of getting a charge. Instead, it's the little uh, runner off, uh, over Lexi Hanna and in for two. Good body control on that one, knowing that we don't need to pull up the charge. I can pull up and lay it off the glass. Batten lob and too high for Julu and out of bounds. Look at Mark Cook, 19th season and coach, 358 wins for him. First state tournament appearance for the Crimson since 2019. Ball got kicked by Batten. Will stay with the Crimson. You know, and, and they're going to graduate some players, but they, they return Jordan for another year yet, you know, being just a junior and, and, and the depth that they're developing. Always exciting to watch their teams and what they've been able to do. Both teams with a good rotation of players early here, Patty, going mm -hmm. you know, eight deep. Bodie had a back foot out of bounds, turnover on Maple Grove. So you want to keep your players fresh here. And then I think that's crucial. Get, get everybody, especially the ones you're going to rely on coming in. They got to get their game jitters out right away, too, and get some experience on the court. Gets everybody to settle down and get into your team game plan. On the dribble into the front court was Wingy, and now gives up the pass to Betton. Betton knocks it down, and she's been smooth so far. Betton has Lakeville North back in front. Odie had a ball stripped away and the last touched by Lakeville North. Inbound from Lexi Hanna. Stern and then back out to Holmquist. Odie for three. And another three pointer. Maple Grove back in front. Odie with eight points. Here's Bo down low. Great pass. Another Bo to Wilson basket. And I think that's one thing Maple Grove is going to continue to talk about. How do we make it harder to get the ball into her? Because with the disc advantage and height there, Bo creates the turnover but can't finish at the basket. Good defense by. Maple Grove on the backside. Going quickly back offense. Knocked away again by Bo. Took it away from Stern. Elena Bo active hands on the perimeter for Lakeville North. Good basketball here. Tying at 17 as we pass the midway point. Odie with the hands. Gets it away from Benton to the basket. Missed the shot. Loose ball out of bounds off of Odie. Betton gets back into the play. And uh, just enough defensively there to cause a miss for Odie. 
and not commit the foul. It's definitely, you know, we're seeing some fun matchups. I mean, they're, they're playing hard with each other. They're challenging each other. Wingy on the inbound, and up comes McCudden, and then back into the hands of Wingy. Julu to V. Wilson. Bowl pops out. The defense on her, and the pass deflected, and then we get a backcourt foul on Wilson. Defensive effort there, Patty, forces the turnover, and then they get the foul as well. They did that. They grabbed a good job of working hard on her, and then the deflection getting in and getting pressures dropping down on her. Not a lot of fouls in this game so far. Just one on Maple Grove, and that was only the third on Lakeville North. Claire Stern, good pass. Bella Hannah. Oh, and we get a foul on the floor on Ojulu. After the ball got into the hands of Cassette. <laughs> Benton and Sahara Wilson back into the new lineup for Lakeville North. Inbound coming from Cassette. Bella Hannah and the spin against Wilson and back out to Holmquist. Odie will take it on the floor, throws back. Three ball from Hannah up and in. The ball moving and Bella Hannah buries it. Her second basket, five points now for the junior. Maple Grove breaks the tie. Wingy. Ooh, almost uh, a steal there by Jordan. Nice job. Patton has it near midcourt. Threw a lot of traffic. Benton able to put the shot up off the glass, but missed. Holmquist with the board. The play ahead to Odie. Delahanna back with it. A couple dribbles on Sahara Wilson, then passes back out. Holmquist and the handoff to Bella Hanna. Hanna puts it up, oh, a little too strong, trying to crash the boards, loose ball, picked up by Benton of Lakeville North. I think we have both the Maple Grove girls going after that rebound, and there's kind of some collision, but. Kind of knock each other off the yeah. ball. Yeah. Sahara so Wilson holds off, hands off, wingy. Back into Wilson's hands and to Benton. Benton spinning on Odie and Travis. No, no, we got foul, excuse me. Had a reached around. Odie trying to get herself offensive position. And commits the foul. First on Benton. And now five team fouls on Lakeville North. Northwest to Odie. Under five minutes to go in a quick moving first half. Semifinals coming up on Thursday night. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. that ball. That was kicked, I kicked guess. by Lakeville North. So it was a good backdoor play, but collected by Lakeville North first. Getting the look that they wanted to get, yep. you know, but. Holmquist open for three. <laughs> Certainly capable of scoring from there. Maple Grove with its biggest lead, six points. Wilson out on the wing. Benton too strong. Loose ball chased down by Odie. Had to cassette. Into the paint goes Hannah underneath Stern and one. Foul <laughs> well, 
on Sahara Wilson as Blair Stern gets to the basket and scores. And that's going to be their key to, to being able to get past those posts they've got going down there right now. It's just more of that movement, some of the cuts, and nice passing. First basket today for Claire Stern. Free throw off. The lead now eight. Maple Grove with the last eight points. Benton into the hands on the wing for McCudden. And then out high to Sahara Wilson. Benton back out. Excuse me, that was Trinity Wilson. Uh, now it's Bo. Back out. And loose ball controlled by Maple Grove. Odie, front court. Stern, baseline left, drive, cut off by Bo was Lexi Hanna. Stern in some traffic, finds Holmquist near the sideline, and then to Odie. Odie trying to take Fenton off the dribble, instead goes for the pass. Three ball, <laughs> Cassette kisses it off the glass and in. Timeout, Lakeville North. 11-0 run for the Crimson. I haven't seen one of those quite like that on a three, and that was just perfect kiss off the glass and in for her. Yeah, she just <laughs> the upper left corner. <laughs> Some geometry there. Even to look be at able her ball. She's even going, <laughs> okay. <laughs> good stretch here for Maple Grove. It is. I think they've been doing a really good job on defense right now as far as making uh, Lakeville come out a little farther, not giving as many easy feeds into the post, and then and their defense is creating that. And they've been able to come down and be a little more controlled, get some nice cuts on the offensive side. So they've even got some of their own inside buckets. For Coach Burke, from what do you want to see coming out of this timeout last three and a half minutes of the half? I'm guessing that he's going to work a little more to try and go back inside a little bit. And then I'm sure they're communicating on what's going on down here where Maple Girl's been able to get some cutters in on baseline. Gabby Bitten will bring it up to the front court. <laughs> Bitten with nine points to lead the Lakeville North in scoring. And a steal by Sterno had it briefly. And then traveling whistled on DeHaan. So Lakeville North turns it over. It's a Stern causing the pressure. Gets the turnover. Look at it again. Almost had it. And then DeHaan, yeah, definitely oh. moved a little bit before she dribbled the ball. Home push to Stern. Odie. Tough shot. Not go. Loose ball. Run down, though, by Cassette. Home quest. Three from Hannah. Not good. Lexi Hannah on the miss. And the rebound by Bo. Double team on the ball, but Betton able to get through there. On low, Trinity Wilson up. Didn't get the shot to go, but the senior will go to the line for two. Has six points, but as you mentioned, to your point, Patty, hasn't had a lot of touches down low since early in the game, but they get it to her here. They did, and, and, and I, you know, I think that's what you looked at. You know, she's a 1,000-point scorer, 1,000 rebounds, but she's a scorer inside, so getting the ball into her is going to be crucial for Lakeville. Free throw up and good. Bella Hanna into the lineup again for Maple Grove. Replacing her sister Lexi. One on the two, second free throw spins up, but DeHaan with the rebound. Phil North keeps possession, loose ball on the baseline, out of bounds. Last touched by Lakeville North off of Wingy. Ten point Maple Grove lead, led by as many as 11 till the last free throw by Wilson. Broke that 11 0 scoring run for the Crimson. 2.20 to go before halftime. Stern. Holmquist open for three. Short. Loose ball run down by Bowe. 
Off to Benton, trying to push the pace here a little bit for the Panthers. Now we'll back it out. Bob intended for Wilson, and coming around defending was Cassette. Commits the foul on Trinity Wilson. Because she's got a little bit of body as she was coming around. Otherwise, it'd been a great play. She kind of was looking up. I want to see that replay. <laughs> Julio back in for Lakeville North. Foul and Cassette, only her first in the third team foul for Maple Grove. So not in any foul trouble at all. Neither team. 15 on the shot clock. Wingy. Tough shot around. Not good. Julio rebounds over Stern. That's not good. Another try by Wingy. That won't go. Fourth shot. And Bo gets it to go. Hannah handing back out for Holmquist. Back to Bella Hannah. Got cut off. Able to pass back up. Stern can hit from the outside. And missed on this one, though, and rebounded by Trinity Wilson. You're right. It's been a little quiet for uh, Maple Grove after their run, and they just have had a hard time. They've got some great shots. They just haven't been able to get them to drop. And a pass out of bounds. Betton missing. Trinity Wilson with that pass. Yeah, out of that timeout, so Wake Grove has not scored here in the last two plus minutes. Right. Although Lakeville North has just three points. Right. Maple Grove would like to finish strong here in the last minute. Holmquist. Foul ball with really good defense on her. Stern. Back out high. Bella Hanna. To Odie. Right side, three ball, it's good! That's Ava Cassette. And Maple Grove able to answer. Cassette now with six points. Well, and the nice thing for Maple Grove is it's a different player stepping up each time, you know? You've got a lot of prolific scorers, but it's everybody getting involved in the game. Everybody's touching the ball. Game clock and shot clock, about three second difference. Wingy, baseline, backs her player down, around and in. Under 10 seconds to go, Holmquist to the front court. Off to Bella Hanna, back to Holmquist, long three short, and then it's the end of the first half. Maple Grove closing the half with a 14 to five scoring run. And Patty Sorensen to go into the locker room, up 31-22. You know, and, it, and that, that the momentum they carried, that's exactly what they were looking to do. Both teams are going to talk about what adjustments they're going to make, but maybe this is the momentum Maple Grove needs to keep carrying them forward. We'll take time out. We'll come back. We'll look at first half highlights and more. You're watching coverage of the State Class 4A Girls Basketball Tournament on CCX. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button, and from there, choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. Halftime of our quarterfinal round game, the State Girls Basketball Tournament, number five seed Lakeville North, trailing number four seed Maple Grove, 31-22 here at Williams Arena in Minneapolis. Highlights from the first 18 minutes of this one today. Lakeville North able to get points inside from Trinity Wilson, terrific assist from Elena Bow. Maple Grove answering, nice kick out pass. Three-point shot made by Addie Hanna off the assist from Maple Grove's uh, Jordan Odie. Then Benton with a three. Odie with a runner there. And then watch Benton with the steal here. Really good first half for Gabby Benton. Gets the runner up and in for two. And another try here. Knocks down another mid-range jumper for her. 
Bella Hanna with a three-point shot of her own for Maple Grove. Good look underneath. Claire Stern with the and one off the assist from Lexi Hanna. And then how about the three-pointer here? Good ball movement. Ava Cassette off the glass in the end. <laughs> Gave her team an 11-point lead at that point. And they lead here by nine at halftime. Halftime scoring leaders, Ben with nine, Trinity Wilson seven, Bo with four. Eight for Odie to lead Maple Grove. Ava Cassette six, Addy and Bella Hanna five each. Really good scoring distribution in that first half for the Crimson. Oh, I, and that's kind of what they do. I mean, they have so many different weapons that can score. And obviously, when you get that, that takes off the pressure off of some of the other kids. We'll take another timeout. We'll come back. Second half of play on the way. Winner gets Hopkins in the semifinals. 31-22, Crimson lead at halftime. Maple Grove with a nine-point lead as we start the second half. John Jacobson, Patty Sorensen at Williams Arena. And good work inside the goal to Trinity Wilson, fighting with possession of the basketball with Bella Hanna. Get the tie-up, and it's over to Maple Grove. But that's what Lakeville North wants to do, right? Try to do it early in the game. They go to it on their first possession here in the second half, going to Trinity Wilson. And, and that is, that's what they want to do. And, and I think also Maple Grove cleaned up a little bit of how they wanted to defend her because they put some good pressure on her, which was able to get the jump ball. Oh, Cassette, nice blow by move, but missed the shot. Wingy with the rebound. Ahead to Bo and Stern with the block. And a foul whistled against Bo. To the defense, Carter Stern with a clean block, and then Bo trying to get the ball back. And you see that a lot, right? You, you, do. you miss the shot and you try to get the ball back, and you commit the foul in the backcourt. Get a little frustrated. You thought you had an easy one, and Holmquist on the handoff to Bella Hanna, the short pass. Hanna Wilson, not good, and the rebound by Trinity Wilson again. I'll say for Bella Hanna, she's not been afraid to go against uh, Trinity Wilson. She's been giving up like five, six inches, but. And had a pretty good luck there. Here's Trinity Wilson high off the glass. Not good, got her own rebound and puts it in. And, and, and you're right, there's a mismatch in size there. One of the things they're going to have to do is do a better job of blocking her out, trying to get her out a little farther. So when she does miss, I mean, her height has been able to pull those bars down over her. Those are the first points of the second half. Wilson now with nine. Odie on the block, back out. Bella Hanna for three. Off the back iron and rebounded by Trinity Wilson. Yeah. Be Betton to the front court. Hand off to Bo. Wingy. And hands it back to Betton. Thought about the three. Randy Wilson holding. Oh, great cut by Bo to the basket. Those two seem to work very well together, both sides, right? They, they could each feed each other with passes. Mark Cook, an early timeout here in the second half. First four points to the Panthers. Well, and he's seen some things that North is doing right now that he wants to adjust defensively right away. Uh, get some of these guys picked up, change some things up so they don't have such an easy wide open layup. And that was a nice job by North to finish that. Well, caps a look at Lakeville North this season, 24 and 5 on the year, 15-2 in the South Suburban, averaging 61.8, and so outscoring their opponent by about 17 points per game. 
And they've really been first half team especially on scoring their opponents by 305 points on the year in the first half. Got to like that. Any coach is going to be smiling with that off this kind of stats. Champions out of uh, section 14A. Took out Lakeville South in the championship game. A team they had lost to just three weeks prior. But beat the Cougars 62-54 for the section championship. Their last loss was to Lakeville South on February 12th. Maple Grove's last loss was the following day, April, or excuse me, February 13th to Minnetonka. Another state tournament team, mm -hmm. and you know, some of these losses these teams have had have been to really great opponents. Yeah, they played good schedules. All right, so see what Maple Grove can do coming out of this timeout here. Scoreless in their first few possessions here in the second half. Odie will put up a three short and rebounded by Trinity Wilson. Patton will hand off. Trinity Wilson gets it in the paint again. Missed this time. Ojulu follow up. That won't go. Bo had a hand on it and she gets fouled. I think by Cassette. No, nope, it's going to be in Bella Hanna. Yeah, they were all trying to tie up the ball, and they have to follow on it. Bow off the inbound pass. Assist to Benton. Lead from Maple Grove down to three. Bella Hanna. Into the paint, nice little move around Wilson and miss the shot. Trinity Wilson, another board. Batten to Wingy. Wingy again. Into the paint, up off the mark, and the loose ball corralled by Stern. Claire Stern pull up inside the three point arc and hits. And that gets Maple Grove their first points in the second half and a big hoop for the Crimson. 33-28 Maple Grove. Trinity Wilson. Ojulu and Stern knocks it away. Ojulu gets it back. Wingy for three short. Loose ball and Cassette has it and sits on the baseline. Back to Lakeville North. She just comes down. She worked hard on the defensive end. Good recognition. They're back there. I can make this from the free throw line. Good recognition. Stern now with uh, four points. Only her second basket. It's a double-digit score for Maple Grove. On the block. Bill Wilson. Not good. A Julo, and she's fouled. I'm sure what Coach Kutch wants to talk about, it's like, okay, we know what Wilson's doing. Somebody's got to do a better job of blocking out Ojulu on the back. She's looking for her first point today. Averages 8.6 points and 6.6 .6 rebounds per game. And now with the scorebook has a score today. Took on not good and rebounded by Lexi Hanna. Lexi Hanna will come in all the way to the baseline. Skip pass by Bella Hanna into Stern's hands. Stern lost it. Bow comes across and Shulu loose ball. Still on the floor. Do we not have a whistle? Finally, we get a tie up call. A lot of bodies flying along for play on for quite a few seconds there. You know, and then they're, they're all over each other on the floor. I'm sure both coaches are going, there's no foul in there anywhere, but it was like nobody really had control of the ball. Good hustle by Bo to get back into the play there. And you're right. It wasn't in no. there. He finally got a tie-up. Better look at it on the replay. 
Possession arrow favored Lakeville North, so they've got the ball back here. Trailing by four. Good deny by Bella Hanna there. And I think that's the, the key, right? Not so much how you play on the backside, but you got to deny the ball going in to Trinity Wilson, which they haven't done well here early in the second half. Exactly. I think that's part of the keys right there is working on that, deflected, whatever you got to do to knock that ball so she doesn't get it easily. Benton. Now it's Wingy. Wingy will take it strong to the hoop. Missed the shot and rebounded by Bella Hanna. Addie Hanna. Into Stern in the front court. Back to Addie Hanna. Addie Hanna attacking. Pulls it back out. Lexi Hanna back to Addie. Thirteen minutes to go in the second half. Odie, nice crossover dribble. Nice lay in off the glass. Beat Foe to the basket and scores. I think they did a great job in that possession. It was getting a little quick, and then they realized they had time, settled down, got a better look. First basket for the junior here in the second half. And a foul on the perimeter whistled against Addie Hanna. Be nope, hurt. it's going to be, okay. be Lexi Hanna. Okay. Got whistled for that one. That ended up being, what, her third? Team fouls this half. Maple Grove three, Lakeville North one. Bad, terrific drive to the hoop and scores. Thirty-five, thirty-one. Odie trying to answer to the basket, didn't get the hoop, but she'll go to the line and shoot two. I think both guards are challenging each other right, right. now. It's like, okay, who's going to stop who on this? But they're both making good drives to the bucket. Free throw is off the mark. Look at capsule. Look at the Crimson this season. Conference champions again. They have not lost in the Northwest Suburban Conference in a long time, outscoring their opponents by about 22 points per game. Good second half team, and we saw that we saw that 50 point second half when they really shot the ball well against Moundsview in the 5-4A final last week at Anoka. And like we said before, they have so many weapons. Everybody was shooting and, and scoring and sharing the ball. And that, that's how your team's successful, getting everybody involved, everybody touching the ball. 36-31 well, now, a whistle. And this will be on Cassette. Commits the foul, out guarding McCutton. Got to play again. Yeah, definitely, a little handsy out high. We'll draw the whistle. You know, it's always fun to watch when they call those fouls because sometimes you see them just go by the wayside. Yep. And sometimes right. they're yep. called yep. pretty quick. There's Yulu, well defended by Stern, has to give it up, gets it back. Goes down low. Trinity Wilson up with a shot, not good. Loose ball. Ground by Lakeville North by Wingy. Trying to go in and ball denied that time on the deflection out by Lexi Hanna. But Lakeville North will reset. Here's Wingy attacking. Short little runner up. <laughs> Offensive foul on Wingy. No basket. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I think he's more upset that, that right before that he thought Trinity Wilson was fouled on the shot underneath. Yes, I. Oh, he's gonna. He wants to. He wants to see what happened there. Yeah, oh you yeah. You can see her push pushing with her right off, off arm. Pushed off on Addie Hanna. But I again going back to early in that possession when Trinity Wilson got it low on the block. It looked like there was some contact there. And it was a play on. 
So timeout on the floor, 36-31. Crimson lead Lakeville North by five here. Not quite seven minutes into the second half. Well, it's just, it, like we said, a good game. It's been close. You see some runs from each team. You're definitely not afraid to be physical. Just a great game. Semifinals on Thursday night at 4A. And teams get a winners to get a day off in the championship game and the third place game as well on uh, Saturday. Williams Arena, the busy place last week with the Big Ten Women's Tournament here, Patty. Some great basketball oh. played here on this court. It, it was a it was a great weekend to uh, watch basketball and you know watching the teams come up in the Big Ten. Fun, fun experience to see that happen, boy. Got to give Nebraska credit, boy. They really they more days in a row, yeah. you know, and and three Minnesota girls on the team. That was that was pretty exciting. But they do have that Caitlin Clark of yes, uh, the She could she cannot score in the first half, and then she comes back in the second half and gets her average almost. Been a pleasure to watch uh, in college basketball over the last few years. Well, Crimson a little bit slow start offensively here in the second half. Let's see if they can get going. Get a foul away from the basketball. It's going to be whistled against Batten. I'm betting that's her third. She's the only starter within any foul trouble at all. And certainly a player of the Lakeville North could not afford to lose here today. She is their floor general. She's the one that gets things going, so. Cassette trying to work on Benton there. Now gets the pass back and well short on the three after taking the pass from Addie Hanna, but rebounded underneath. Great job by Lexi Hanna to Odie, and then shot clock violation on Maple Grove. I wonder if Jordan thought the shot clock reset, but it didn't hit any rim yeah, up there. It didn't so hit it a didn't rim, upset. so a right call on not resetting mm -hmm. it there. Yep. Right, yep. exactly. And even though the shot clock is right on top of the backboard, you're not always looking at that as, as a player. Well, no, and she was being pressured when it came back out, yeah. too. And But it's a turnover, and it's back over to two. Lakeville North, Wingy taking the pass from Trinity Wilson. A little fadeaway shot, not good. Bull, rebound and one. <laughs> the bull crashes the boards yep. and scores. And that's it. If you crash the boards, good, good things are going to happen to you. They're off and in. Lakeville North down nine and a half time now to within two. Ten and a half minutes to go in the second half. Odie. Whistle and foul on Lakeville North before Odie released the pass. Holmquist in, Addie Hanna out for Maple Grove. Bob in to Claire Stern. There's a three-pointer for Odie. And he gets shots like that to go. They'll be okay here in the second half, but a big hoop for the Crimson. The lead back up to five. Yeah, they'd love to get Jordan hot, that's for sure. Claire Ugh. Stern, a little too aggressive there defensively on Majulu, commits the foul. But six team fouls now on Maple Grove here. So Lakeville North will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Five team fouls on the Panthers here in the second half. On Stern, her second foul. She'll get a rest. Along with Gassette. Wingy into the hands of Bo. Shulu. And now Benton. Back to Bow. Right. Again to Trinity Wilson. Unable to finish there. Shulu offensive rebound. Put back. No good. Wilson gathers it in. Not good. Out of bounds. Off Lakeville North. Boy, some good looks at the basket. 
Panthers unable to finish on that possession. They're not like coach isn't liking that call either. <laughs> Thought maybe that it was off of uh, Maple Grove girl. Odie will piss up back out and the pass coming out to Holmquist. Into the hands of Hannah. Lexi Hannah driving, backing down Wilson. Lexi Hannah, the shot up, not good. And Wilson, the rebound. Trinity Wilson. <laughs> she kind of did a little jump up to try and block that ball, uh, knock that ball out of her hands on the height difference she's given up. Wingy. Three-pointer is good. Nine thirty seven. Overski into Odie's hands. Odie working on Bo gets the pass out to the wing. Addie Hannah back to Odie. Overski, her first basket tonight. Has not played a lot of minutes, but nice basket for the junior. She did a great job of just getting into the mid paint there, and Odie saw her. Nobody was in her range, and she just. Nice open shot. Now, low Wilson is fouled. Go to the line for two. Foul on Lexi Hanna. Over ski, yep. the last basket for the Crimson. Yeah, she just did a good job of getting in there. It is a tough matchup up there for Maple Grove as far as size wise in there with uh, Wilson. Trinity just. Got that height advantage. She's comfortable under there by the basket. Averages just under 14 points a game and just over 10 rebounds per game. Cassette, Bellahanna, and Stern all back in for Maple Grove. Bella DeHaan getting ready to check in for Trinity Wilson. Missed them both, rebounded by Odie. Bellahan a one dribble. And Stern, back out home, quiz, quick ball movement. Bellahan on three short. Ball tapped by Wilson, loose ball, tie up. Jump ball, it'll be Maple Grove possession. And now DeHaan in will give Trinity Wilson a rest. Under eight minutes to go in the second half. Game was tied at 17. Maple Grove went on an 11-0 scoring run and have led since. Bella Hanna, nice moves in the paint. And puts there it up and in for two. Nice little hooks out there, up and over that, and that's how the, that's how they got to score against the bigs. They got to get it up over them. Seven points, couple rebounds for Bella Hanna today. Wingy, tough drive on Holmquist. She, well, she was playing pretty good defense, but committed the foul. Look at that last basket again. Hanna gets in. A yeah, good she, move on DeHaan to score. She does a nice job with that spin and that little hook there. Five foot eleven junior wingy to the line here for two. Wingy did a great job on that last drive of identifying. I had the drive and the defender for the help defender wasn't really there. Gave her a good chance on that shot. Got them both. And after a quick rest, Trinity Wilson is back in along with Elena Bow. Wingy gets those free throws. She'll go to the bench here. Her team back to within four. Already the front court. Now Hannah back into Odie. Curls around. 
Top side of the lane, kicks it back out. Delahanna through some traffic to Stern. Left corner, shot clock. Down to 10, and Trinity Wilson got a hand on that pass. Deflects it and forces the turnover. Here's Bull. And three seconds on Wilson. Let's see three seconds called a lot, but I think it was the right call there. She was going to parked in the lane, and I think anticipating the pass from Bo sooner than she got it to her, and that was the reason for the call. Well, and I know they just had a little conversation afterwards about, I'm there, I'm ready. Odie hopping in for two. That is such a tough shot to make, and uh, Jordan Odie can make a lot of those She makes type it of look shots. easy. She makes it look easy. 16 points now for her. Leads all scorers in the game. Trinity Wilson, nicely done. Backing down Bella Hanna. Two more for Wilson. She's into double figures with 11. Stern will pull up at the other end. Not good. Rebounded by Trinity Wilson. Then knocked away briefly by Holmquist, but right into the hands of Benton. 45-41 with under six minutes to go. Bo looking for Benton, who pops back out on the wing. Left open for three. Around the rim, not good. Loose ball picked up. Trinity Wilson up and in. 45-43. Trinity just kind of went over the, def the head of the Maple Grove girl, and I thought maybe it was even some contact, but evidently it was clean. Oh. Well, Hannibal deflected. Steal by DeHaan. And in Lakeville North with a chance to tie or take the lead with a three. Through the hands of Bo, but gets it back. DeHaan looking in. Trinity Wilson ties it up. First time since we are tied at 17. And Lakeville North has been tied, and we're under five minutes to go in the second half. Now Hannah for three, breaks the tie. <laughs> Hannah with 10 points and timeout on the floor. All right, I think what's, what Coach Cook's going to do right now, he, he really needs to see and make some adjustments on what's happening, how easy it's getting that ball to Trinity Hanna. They do not want her to get warmed up. And they've been able to get some good passes into her, and she's had some easy buckets to go up. So that's one of the things he's going to address, what they're doing defensively. Bella Hammond averages three and a half points. He's got 10 so far. Let's look at the Star Tribune's all-area team. Starting with the second team, some uh, players from the area, Kate Amelot of uh, Wysetta, these are uh, Kayla Kraft, set a terrific career. Eddie McMinney, Ha Academy, Tori McKinney, Minnetonka, and Tori Schleg of Eden Prairie, all on the second team. The first team players uh, in this area and in the tournament, Lynn McGill, Leah Crump, play this afternoon. Matt Greenway has her Providence Academy team. In the uh, tournament in two-way, Jordan Odie of Maple Grove here. Olivia Olson had a big quarterfinal round game this morning in 3A next door at the Pavilion as the Red Knights won easily over Roosevelt in the quarterfinals. That was a lot of that first team is outstanding. So the basket betting, not good. Loose ball out of bounds over to Lakeville, over to Maple Grove. <laughs> Off of DeHaan out of bounds. And that's the other thing, besides defending Trinity down here, we got to get on the boards. We've been getting letting them get too many boards. We've got to control the board a little better. Now Wilson now with 13 points, 13 rebounds for Lakeville North. A whistle and a foul, and Cassette's going to be rewarded with two free throws. The foul whistled against Elena Bow. Well, and when uh, Cassette saw that with Wilson out, she saw the chance to drive the bucket. And that's what you got to do. When you get her out, we got to look to attack a little bit more, which will also open up. 
Free throw missed though by Cassano. Wilson out, or back in rather, replacing DeHaan. The set gets the second one. Two possession game now at 49 45. Benton comes out for the ball. Jimmy Wilson. Oh, oh that was cut to the cut. basket. And two for Julu. That was really pretty. They knew it was coming. Bella Hanna, one dribble, and then into Odie's hands. Odie passing back. Open his cassette. And hits down the 12 footer. It's kind of like you did that one. We're going to do one similar this way, and they were able to comp uh, capitalize on it. Odie draws the double team and finds his, her open teammate. Odie with her sixth assist. Trinity Wilson, two more. I know, and Coach Cook's going, where was our backside help on that? There, there, there was no backside help. Odie driving on Bo, short on the shot, rebounded by Trinity Wilson. Two point game with three minutes to go. And now, Patty, every possession is important. It is, it's, it's, it's crunch time now. You gotta both teams take care of the ball. Wilson trying to tie it, not good, loose ball. And Stern gets fouled by Wilson. And Maple Grove in the bonus now. And Claire Stern will go to the other end for a one and one. Look at it again. And there, that hand coming over the last time for Wilson. That's what you're the foul. Got her in the head right there. Time out here for Lakeville North. Third foul on Wilson. She and Benton with three fouls each. Bella Hanna with three for Maple Grove. Nobody with four fouls. Coach Bertram calling the timeout here. 2.46 to go. Maple Grove with the lead and then a free throw. And at least one free throw coming up for Stern. Right. And look at that rest of that all Metro team. And these are players from our area or Trinity Wilson is playing in this game. Sophie Hawkinson, really terrific talent. Claire Stern we're seeing here today. And Tatum Woodson we saw earlier for Hopkins. Very, very talented Dry Metro team. There. All of the teams, top all the way to honorable mention. Yeah, I think Andy wants to talk right now and say, okay, we got to capitalize on here, but we should be controlling this board. And, and Maple Grove is crashing. They're making it hard. They're trying to get the ball back themselves. I like what I'm seeing them do down there defensively. And I'm sure Coach Cook is saying, you know, when they get that ball inside, it, we got to have the backside help because there's a couple times the Trinity's been able to score. And, and the backside wasn't there to help out. Hopkins girls stuck around to watch there to our right next to where the Lakeville North Band is. Finding out who they're going to play here tomorrow night. Coach Cook looking up. Much time's left. This team's in the bonus. Possession arrow favors Lakeville North, however, on the next held ball. So, Claire Stern to the free throw line. 73.9% free throw shooter on the season. First turn, I asked her this week if she'd ever played at Williams Arena. She said, Jordan Odie played and I played against each other in a halftime of a gopher basketball game <laughs> when in fifth grade traveling. They came out here <laughs> on a little exhibition time, and that was it. One out of two on the free throws for Stern. 52-49. Okay, where's Maple the help? The There's Trinity Wilson. Traffic foul on Maple Grove. One and one, and she'll go to the line. Look at it coming across, and finally there is the foul. Well, oh, that is, that's four fouls on cassette. And so she'll come out here. Lexi Hanna. Back into the lineup, but also home place. It's still one and one here for Wilson, but earns the bonus. 
16 points, 15 rebounds for the senior. Wow. <laughs> On them both. It's a one point game. Bodie with the handoff to Stern. The center stayed in the game after that last foul. Back into Odie's hands. Lexi Hanna short. On the outside jumper, Lakeville North with the basketball. Two minutes to go. Basket puts them in the lead for the first time in a long time. Wingy back out top. Julu into Wilson, and oh, offensive foul on Wilson. Stern draws the charge. You know, I think that's one of the things Coach Cook was talking about, too. She's getting, but if you get a position, because she is, she does that a lot when she gets ready to make the move to the basket. Just get in there, take your stance, and take a charge. Coach Bertram had a long explanation, and finally they pulled him away. Like you, you can't get a technical at this point. Not no. that, I don't know that he was that close to getting one, but she got a, a play out here. And Crimson nursing a one-point lead, 140 to go. Odie back out. Here's Cassette. Spin move inside of Benton and draws the foul. She'll go to the line for two. That'll be Benton's fourth, too, if that's on her. Yep. Now, Wilson with four, Benton with four. Diana with four for Maple Grove. It's set. Smooth on that free throw. Got them both. Lead is three, 130 to go. Betting to the front court, trying to drive on Odie, but Odie with good defense into Wingy's hands. They're looking for Trinity Wilson. Bo finds her. Good. Lead pass off for Julio's foul. The recognition, I think, from Trinity Wilson, like uh, defense is pretty good, and I've got a cutter coming toward me, yep. and got the pass off to Ojulu. We'll go to the free throw line here. Well, and Ojulu was over there calling for the ball because she could see him sagging on to Trinity, and I mean they're trying to do that. They're, how are we going to stop Trinity? But then you got to keep an eye on Ojulu. Ojulu looking for a fourth point of the day and gets it. Second one also good. For each team two for two from the free throw line in their last possession. And again, a one point game. Holmquist into Cassette's hands and now to Stern. The minutes go ball deflected. Lakeville Lord gets it off the turnover. Front court, Benton with 55 seconds to go. Wingy to Bo, off to Benton, back to Wingy. Lob in, Trinity Wilson draws a double team, trying to go to Gandu Ojuku, able to get the loose ball, and then back out to Bo. Back to Trinity Wilson again. Over Bella Hanna, not good rebound by Bo, around and in. Lakeville North in front by one, timeout Maple Grove. Okay, so I, I think what Coach Burkham wants to talk about right now is setting up his defense and how they're going to defend this. Stern couldn't corral it. Bo just a little bit stronger got to the basketball and put it in. There's another look. Here we go. And 
And that ball just came. She was just in the right spot there to, to get that ball. One more look at that possession. And then ball just gets around Stern and gets to the basketball and puts it in. 55 54 Lakeville North trail most of the way here today but in front at a crucial time 29.8 seconds left. Both teams in the double bonus possession arrow if there's a tie up goes to Lakeville North though. So if you're coach Burke from what what do you want from your your well, defense play solid defense don't foul right exactly. it's easy to say but exactly just you know make them work up the ball you know and and if you're maple grove right now you get the ball up here let's make good crisp passes because you know they've had a few passes that were just not as sharp as they wanted which is what got picked off a few times what a terrific quarter final round game we've had as we expected in the 5-4 game Definitely, yes, yes, great game. Well coached teams, well talented teams, fun to watch. Here we go, there it is for Maple Grove, needing points here on this possession with 25 seconds to go. Holmquist to Odie, down to 20 seconds to go. Bella Hanna, couple of dribbles, turns. Back cut, stern to the basket. Oh, we had a Oh, a timeout, time I believe. Was a timeout called time by out, Maple Cook. Grove right before the pass. I think Coach Cook perhaps sensing Bella in a little bit of trouble. Calls for the timeout and didn't get Stern, although Stern had missed the shot, but the timeout was called before that. So we get the Maple Grove's tournament history, their first since 2019, looking for a quarterfinal round win here. They haven't had that before. In their previous appearances going back to 2003. You know, that timeout came, like he said, coach was sensing it, called the timeout. Stern was going to make the let she missed, which would have been rebounded right there. Nobody else was there, and it would have been right in yeah. North's hand. So that timeout's to their advantage. We'll see what we can set up in these next 10 seconds here. Natanka's waiting the next game. They've got Andover in the 2 p.m. game. You get nervous as a fan, right? No matter what, even which side you're on, you're like, yep. scared. 11.2 <laughs> seconds left on the clock. Maple Grove basketball. Two timeouts remaining for them, one remaining for Lakeville North. David Cassette will inbound from the baseline. Back out to Bella Hanna with 10 seconds to go. Hanna trying to drive on Wilson. Gives it up to Cassette. They're running out of time, and we get another timeout. Let's see if they put any more time on the clock here. Well, how about the defense by Lakeville oh. North, though, these last, on this possession, before each of these last two timeouts? They're just not giving Maple Grove good looks. And you can see on that inbound, they wanted to get it to Odie. And great defense. They couldn't even get a tour. Well, and that's where the other girls got to believe in themselves as shooters, too. I know we're going to probably try and run a play for Odie, but we've all scored from multiple spots. And if I'm open, i got to take the shot. And now you're down to 2.1 seconds. There's not a lot of options here. It's whoever gets the inbound pass is going to have to put a shot up. And obviously, they're going to go there looking for Odie to do it. You know, but like I said, you've had other people on this floor step up, so whoever you can get to's got to turn and shoot. Well, Maple Grove boys won their last game on a buzzer beater over Osseo in the section semifinals. Maple Grove girls looking to do that here. And, and if your coach are saying, no follows. Well, right, and you can't follow if you're Lakeville North, no. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. To set the inbound this time from the sideline. And a timeout for Lakeville North. That's wanted, their final timeout. Yep, you wanted to see how they were going to set up. What were they going to do? And We'll see if Mark comes out the same way or if he changes things up a little bit. 
Going back the last decade in 4A, look at the uh, past champions, SGMA winning it last year in a thriller over Hopkins, the Royals winning it two seasons ago. Chaska, great team back in 2021. We talked about the 2020 game earlier, a game that Hopkins uh, almost certainly would have won if they had that championship had played out. They had won in 19. Eastview a couple championships in the last 10 years as well. Elk River, Minnetonka, another Hopkins win. We'll see who's going to be crowned the champion here in a couple of days. Right now, we got to get through the quarterfinals in the last 2.1 seconds. Cassette to inbound. Oh, Rob Stearns open on the boot. Stearns puts it in. Oh, what a play. What a call. Yes, Coach Cook. <laughs> Composure, real quick. He's this one. He's where he felt. He's been wanting. And you know, hats off to Lakeville North. Those girls played a heck of a game. And what a basket! Well, I said the boys wanted a buzzer beater. I let the girls turn. <laughs> exactly. sure they, what a terrific play! And Claire Stern didn't miss at the rim and puts it in and uh, Maple Grove gets that quarterfinal round win they've been looking for. They get to the semifinal. What a great pass by Cassette. Stern wide open on the backside and puts it in. Well, it, and you know, everybody here was going, okay, where's George? Yeah. Now watch him, watch him now as soon as he gets it. I think he stays with him. Look, he jumped. He's totally <laughs> in his assistant's arms. It was fun to see. Good for Mark. Boy, what a tough loss for Lakeville North. Oh. Get back from 11 points down in the first half and trail most of the way. Come back, take the lead. But it's Maple Grove on the basket. And again, I can't say enough about that pass, too, oh. from Ava Cassette to find Claire Stern. And if you were saving that play all season, you pick the right time to pull it out. Well, and you're the passer. Imagine how she's feeling passing that in. I mean, that's, it's got to be right on. And that would, that would have finished. Like, it must be the Maple Grove thing. Like you said, the boys won at a buzzer beater last week, and same thing here to get Maple Grove to advance to tomorrow night's semifinal against Hopkins. We'll take on Hopkins. You saw the score lost to the Royals earlier this season. They'll get another shot at them in the semifinals. That'll do it for our coverage. Channel 45 does the semifinals and the championship round games. And so that does it for our telecast and all our girls basketball. Patty Sorensen, thanks for your help today and all season. It's been oh. terrific to work with you, and we had a terrific way to end it here tonight, right? Yes, thank you very much. It's been a lot of fun to be able to come watch these games and, and work with you. For all of our crew and for Patty Sorensen, I'm John Jacobson. Hope you've enjoyed this one. This was a, a great finish and a great win for Maple Grove. They win it over Lakeville North, 56-55. On to the semifinals for the, for the Crimson. From Minneapolis, I'm John Jacobson. Thanks so much for watching CCX Sports.